Hello there! Welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, I'll be sharing my attraction guide for all the water slides and other activities at Disney's Blizzard Beach at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Blizzard Beach opened in 1995 and was the third water park to be added to the Walt Disney World Resort, joining River Country and Typhoon Lagoon. River Country eventually closed in 2001, leaving the newer and more popular Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. According to Disney legend, a freak snow Snowstorm storm in 1977 led to a quick ski resort being built to attract guests. After the snow melted, the owners decided to convert the former ski slopes and chairlifts into an amazing water park. The park's mascot is Ice Gator, a master skier who turned to water skiing after the change, who is also related to Laguna Gator, the mascot over at Typhoon Lagoon. As you enter the park, you won't be able to miss the amazing Mount Gushmore, which houses most of the resort's water slides. At the base of the mountain, you will see Blizzard Beach's largest attraction, Melt Away Bay, a huge wave pool that has nice bobbing waves due to the constant melting snow from Mount Gushmore. It isn't as intense as Typhoon Lagoon's wave pool, so it is perfect for all the family to enjoy. Cross Country Creek is a 3,000 foot lazy river that goes all around the park. It takes over 25 minutes to go around the whole creek and you'll enter into the caves of Mount Gushmore and see some interesting scenery throughout. Don't forget to look out for Ice Gator's cabin somewhere along the way. There are plenty of entry and exit points so you'll be able to use the creek as a way of navigating the resort. There are two different water play areas. Tyke's Peak is the one for preschoolers that features three mini scale versions of slides within Blizzard Beach, including a small raft ride. It also has an ice fortress, fountains and small pools for playing. For the older children, they will love the Ski Patrol Training Camp. They can test their balancing skills on the Thin Ice Training Course, a pool that contains floating icebergs. Try out Fahrenheit Drops, a T-bar zip line that splashes them into an 8.5 foot pool, or they can try a selection of awesome body or raft slides. The other attractions in the park are broken into three categories. The green slopes can be accessed by foot or by taking the chairlift, which will take you directly to the peak of Mount Gushmore. This is a one-way system that can take up to three guests and as well as being a great way to get to the attractions, it also offers some great views of the resort. You will have a choice of three different slides at the green slope, the first being the flagship attraction, Summit Plummet. This is a 360 foot long freefall slide and can reach speeds of over 60 miles per hour. Designed to look like a ski jump, you actually rocket through a darkened tunnel before heading into a massive spray of white water. This is known as Walt Disney World's most thrilling attraction for good reason, so be warned. Next is Slush Gusher. Although it is a little less unnerving than Summit Plummet, this is still a high intensity water slide. It is 250 feet long, it can reach speeds of 35 miles per hour, and it has two rolling hills that actually makes you get a little bit of airtime. So thrill seekers will also enjoy this one. The final green slope attraction is Team Boat Springs, the world's longest family whitewater raft ride. Each raft can accommodate four to six riders and you will go on a journey through many twists and turns on this super long, super wide water slide. As the raft banks left to right and rotates randomly, you'll never be safe from the drenching sprays throughout the attraction. Next are the three different purple slopes all designed for racing, starting with the Downhill Double Dipper. This is a pair of side-by-side -side racing tube slides. Time clocks count off each downhill heat as racers compete to be the fastest on the slopes. Next is Snowstormers, a trio of water slides which has riders lie on their stomach on a toboggan style mat as they compete in an exciting race. The slides run from the top of the mountain and follows a zigzag course through the slalom gates just like a real downhill ski race. Toboggan Racers is the final purple slope and also has riders on the belly down toboggan style mats. Compete against seven other riders as you dip down the three hills and see who is the fastest. The final slope is the Red Slope and is located at the back of the park. It contains one attraction, the Runoff Rapids. They are three unique tube slides featuring one enclosed and two open tracks. You will ride on an inner tube down the various twists and turns before all ending in a big splash. They are all great slides so why not try all three? 
there is a great choice of different restaurants at Blizzard Beach, serving quick service food like pizza, burgers, salads, rice bowls and ice creams, as well as a few fully licensed bars. Beach House is the main shopping location near the front entrance of the park. Here you can rent lockers and towels, as well as choosing from a selection of swimwear, sundries and of course plenty of Disney merchandise. So that sums up our guide for Disney's Blizzard Beach, and if you haven't already booked your next Disney trip, then why not check out UndercoverTourist.com for some great deals on Disney hotels and tickets. And if you're watching from the UK, take a look at the amazing Disney packages that Virgin Holidays are offering right now. Both my affiliate links are in the description box below, so go check it out to see how much you could save on your next Disney vacation. Unfortunately, Disney's Blizzard Beach is currently closed for a long maintenance period and Disney has still not announced when it will reopen, but hopefully it should be open for the summer months in 2022. Make sure you check the My Disney Experience app or the Disney World website to see if it will be open during your visit. Luckily, Walt Disney World's other water park, Typhoon Lagoon, is still open for business, and you can check out my attraction guide for that park right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.